Good, now we have already created a session. So right now, uh, as you can see, there are no tracks on the, on, on the new created session. So what we probably first need to do is create a track. To do that, select track on the top menu and select new. Uh, it's always good to memorize the, uh, the hotkey. Uh, it will save you lots of time in the future. Okay, new track. Okay, there are five different kinds of track in Pro Tools. The first is audio track for you to put on your audio clip. You can automate it, uh, uh, slightly edit it, trim it, and do uh, sort of, uh, all sort of things. Okay, the second one is aux input. Uh, this aux track is just for you to uh, for you to patch different signals in the tracks. Uh, it doesn't really, uh, you can't put any audio or MIDI signal on that track. So the third one is the master fader, it's for you to monitor uh, the, the master output of your piece. Make sure you don't uh, clip your, your audio. If you clip, you go to jail, okay? Uh, the uh, next one is MIDI track. You can edit MIDI signal on the MIDI track and you can send the uh, MIDI signal to the uh, outside uh, MIDI equipment or other softwares uh, inside your computer. Okay, the last one is instrument track. Frankly, instrument track is a MIDI track combined with the aux input. So this one is uh, it allows you to uh, to plug in a so software uh, instrument and uh, in the same time edit the MIDI uh, edit the MIDI signal on the track. Uh, good. So right now, uh, for the first assignment, we need the instrument track. Uh, so we choose instrument track. We choose stereo, which is two mono. Uh, one mono is uh, is one track of sound, stereo is actually two track of sounds, okay? So we choose create. So uh, now we've, we created a track over here, you can drag down uh, over here, uh, you can drag down to widen the, the track, you can zoom in, zoom out uh, uh, horizontally, or here you can zoom in, zoom out uh, vertically, okay? So uh, next thing we need to do is to insert a, a software instrument pl plugin. Uh, to do this, we need to find this uh, column uh, called the insert A to E. So if this column doesn't show up, uh, the thing you need to do is to to click over here. Okay, uh, this icon shows uh, uh, choose columns. Uh, click over here, choose insert A to E. Okay, right now it's already on. If I click it again, it will it will turn it off and turn it down. Okay, all those um, all different columns you can uh, you can turn on and turn off all those different columns. We'll talk more about those columns in the future. So for now, let's choose some uh, instrument. Okay, uh, we, cli we click on the first slot over here and choose multi-channel plug-in. If you choose multi-mono plug-in, uh, we have two, uh, two channels on this track. So the multi-mono plug-in is actually, it opens two separate plug-ins for each mono channel. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, we, uh, to save the memory space, we only need one multi-channel plugin. So we choose instrument. For the first assignment, uh, let's choose expand 2, which comes uh, with the Pro Tools. Okay, we choose expand 2. And wait for a minute. Uh, uh, wait for a second. Uh, the, this is a, uh, expand 2. You can choose four different instruments over here. We only need one in the first assignment. Click on the, uh, the, the button over here. Uh, there are a whole bunch of uh, different sounds uh, listed uh, in the in, uh, in the menu open over here. Okay, uh, you can choose whatever uh, sound you want. Uh, 
uh, here uh, for uh, because uh, it's a flu piece I choose uh, it's aesthetic uh, oh I have low mouse battery uh, pen pipes I choose pen pipes over here uh, hopefully my mouse will uh, uh, hold on for this video okay we choose pen pipe over here and once you choose your instrument you when you play on the keyboard you uh, you'll be able to uh, hear the, the sound coming out or at least uh, probably uh, see the uh, signal sound signal over here okay uh, if not you need to check uh, if your patch is okay good let's uh, since it's plugged in let's turn it off so uh, now we have a track uh, opened plugged in with an instrument okay uh, we will talk more about how to edit MIDI uh, in the next session or video <laughs>